last season, Carl Ostrensky accomplished the ninth labor of Hercules, bringing a championship to Boston, a city whose previous baseball idol, Ted Williams, resembled that other great Greek, Achilles, who fought a great fight but spent a lot of time sulking in his tent. This winter, Carl's fame spread beyond the cultured confines of the hub, and he stood in the anterooms of power and received congratulations for the enviably measurable accomplishments of the sports idol whose statistics are beyond debate. The forest of photography, feasting, and fame has been a thick one for Carl Yastrzemski. Now 1967 is in the record books, the cups and plaques in the trophy case, a dusting problem for his wife, while the hero emerges into the bright, searching light of a new season. Manufacturers see him as Midas, and ask his touch on their spikes, gloves, and other pieces of baseball gear which will benefit from, as used by Yaz. He is mindful, as all heroes aren't, of his public, and always has time for a smile, an autograph, and the word which can later be proudly repeated. Yaz trains with the fierce devotion of a man who stands on the threshold of immortality but needs the weight of a few more great years to shoulder open the door. As he tones his already well-toned muscles, he finds his pedestal very comfortable. Many people have asked you, but what was it you've had many good seasons that made last season such a great one for you? Well, I think that's very easy. I think uh, being up in a pennant race, uh, maybe find some little extra that was hiding from you. Uh, but the big thing, was being surrounded by a wonderful talent. Uh, I think uh, Mann will probably express it best when he said that he would like to see what it was playing for a second division team and not having any pressure on you every single ball game. And he said he'd take the pressure any time because uh, playing in a second division is very, very tough. Yaz bounds across the Florida turf with a first place springiness, showing the kind of joy in playing which marked another Boston Idol, Dom DiMaggio thicker and grayer than the spry young outfielder who stood up to the legend of his brother Joe and wrote his own, Dom looks more like the manufacturer he is than the player he was. He has the detachment of a social psychologist as he shines a light on Yastrzemski's future. I think as you, you uh, achieve more and, and uh, progress more, you know that you are in a position now that you can do more. Yaz seeks the groove which led to a flag. Perhaps this time it will lead on to a world's championship. And the boom of this spring homer is like the warning rumble which presages a thunderstorm. In Boston last year, number eight was the shape of the impossible dream of a pennant. Hope may not spring eternal in baseball, but it is eternal in spring. And for Yaz and the Red Sox, this seems the most hopeful of springs. This is Haywood Hale Brune in Winter Haven, Florida.